Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top 10 strange mysteries in our solar system we should fear. <laughs> a nice fun one. Kicking off the list at number 10, passing asteroids. I say passing because ideally that's how we'd like to greet them, right? But really it's out of our hands. On August 16th, 2020, for example, a small asteroid shot past our planet, barely 3,000 kilometers above Earth's surface. So yeah, on paper, sure, that's far away, but when it comes to asteroids that could wipe out all life on Earth, that's dangerously close. We might not even see it coming either. This August asteroid was only discovered a few hours after it made its close approach to Earth. Yeah, so we're kind of late to the party. I'll have you know that even if it did hit Earth, it wouldn't be entirely catastrophic. It would just suck a bit for a specific circle of people on the planet. It's like world roulette. We're like, ooh. NASA does their best to monitor these events, but would you want to know if an asteroid was going to hit? I wouldn't want to know. Number nine, aliens? Yeah. Back in 2017, a $22 million defense program was put in place called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. Real life. This is where, this is news. Here we go. Its purpose was to study military encounters with UFOs. Yeah, remember when UFOs were on the news and like nobody cared, honestly, at, at the time? What was that all about? Navy pilots were coming out with their story or stories. Eventually, come 2019, senators felt the need to be briefed on all these sightings, given the amount of them. After a vote by the Senate intelligence community in June 2020, it was agreed that UAP reports were to get added to the Intelligence Authorization Act for 2021 and onwards. That's why more and more footage is coming out these days, because these incidents were filmed ages ago, but now they're allowed to be released to the public. And according to the Times, like the Times, these 120 incidents that were studied, it turns out the US military is not responsible at all. That's, that's nice. Let's move on before I pass out. Number eight, Apophis. We thought the world was going to end in 2012. The Mayan calendar tipped us off and they even made a movie about it. Yeah, John Cusack got a paycheck because Mayans made a calendar. Isn't that odd? That's a real fact. Well, we might be seeing another disaster movie in eight years, the asteroid Apophis. Not a bad name for a movie too, Apophis. It's in the category of potentially hazardous asteroids. Potentially hazardous asteroids, nice. On April 13th, 2029, it's gonna barely miss Earth. Apparently it's gonna pass just a little bit and around two billion people will be able to witness this uh, with their naked eye. Yeah, look outside to witness our possible end. That was close, that was really close. An asteroid literally might hit us on a Friday the 13th, how odd is that? Scientists were actually unsure about if this thing was gonna hit or not, and even to this day, Earth's gravitational pull might just influence this near miss. Might, there's a fun word in the NASA community. It's good, it might work, we'll see. Number seven, Titan life. Titan is one of Saturn's many, many moons. Saturn has 82 moons in total, so if there's any aliens hiding near Saturn, we're never gonna find them, they have numerous spots to hide. Numerous craters to pop the little alien heads in and out of. That's a lot of moons. Around 10 years ago, NASA's Cassini spacecraft detected water under its massive shell of ice on this moon. That's pretty exciting, and to quote a Cassini team member, the search for water is an important goal in our solar system exploration, and now we've spotted another place where it's abundant. Yes, we love abundant water on icy moons far away. Mm. NASA has also detected low frequency radio waves on this icy moon, and it sounds pretty eerie. As far as space mysteries go, anywhere that has water or signs of water, for that matter, that's a good start. Number six, Saturn's rings. Another Saturn one coming in hot. I know you wanted more. Let's talk. She's known for her stunning rings. If you ever get the chance to look into space with a telescope, you can actually see Saturn's rings. Even a standard set of binoculars, they ought to do it. It's gotta have perfect vision, like me. They're a great mystery to scientists today, seeing as these rings were formed many, many moons ago. They're beautiful, but they're quite violent. The rings consist of particles that range in size from micrometers to, well, full-on meters. And they're mostly made up of ice, but they have some trace components of rocky material as well. In December 2016, the Cassini spacecraft actually weaved through these rings. What a mission that ought to be. It flew through, and the spacecraft's radio and plasma wave science instrument was able to pick up the sound of what crossing one of these rings sounds like. And uh, yeah, spoiler alert, it's haunting. It sounds like deep space nonsense. It starts off tame, sounds like, you know, classic staticky space, but when more and more particles hit the craft, eh, the noises increase. There's much we don't know about Saturn's history, but what, what the planet sounds like, that's, that's a good start. It's an oddly satisfying start. Number five, our moon. The old man made a cheese in the sky, or something like that, right? 
Our moon has been here for quite a while, and sadly, it's moving away from us slowly. But we'll still have her presence, her grace, her beauty, we'll still have it for a while longer. Our moon helps us surf giant waves, okay? She helps us keep everything balanced here on Earth due to the gravitational pull that it has. And while we can't really think of an Earth without the moon, was there ever a time where that was the case? Where did it actually come from? A hundred million years after the solar system was formed, our moon showed up. Maybe she heard the commotion, maybe she got a little FOMO, and then floated into our system to see what's going on. But right now, our best guess is collision theory. Yeah, perhaps the moon formed during a collision between Earth and another planet the size of Mars or something equivalent, and the debris from the impact collected in orbit around Earth, and then boom, now we got a bright ball of cheese to wish upon. Thank you, thanks solar system. Number four, the back door. What lies at the end of our solar system? Is it like the Truman Show? Just a big wall with one door they have to walk through and look around and then now your life's over? I don't know, you're in heaven? We have no idea, but we do know what the edge of our solar system sounds like. Yeah, this is an audiograph of the Voyager's plasma wave science observation that lasted several months between 2012 and 2013. These readings are important because this is the moment scientists believe the Voyager left our solar system's heliopause, making it the first ever human-made object to leave our solar system. That's amazing. Now it's just drifting in deep space. We have no idea where it's gonna end up. If you were thinking about leaving our solar system, well, this is what it's gonna sound like. Number three, the Skull Asteroid. Yeah, as if asteroids weren't already scary enough, now we need to observe one that looks like a scary skull literal Halloween ornament floating through the cosmos. Awesome. Asteroid 2015 TB145. This object was captured using the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico on October 30th, 2015. And NASA says that it's likely a dead comet. Yeah, a dead comet in the shape of a skull discovered a day before Halloween. Is this real life? Is this a bit? This can't be real. This asteroid passed Earth on Halloween night, and it was also pretty close. I'm not gonna lie, this thing was around 300,000 miles away, which is just a little further than the distance from Earth to the moon. That's how close it was. The asteroid flew by Earth again on November 11th, 2018, but luckily this time it was much further away, so we're good. <laughs> but for a minute there, whew, almost weren't. Trick or treat, oh, number two. Uranus tilts. Yeah, haha, ha, jokes aside, I said it. Okay, great, let's move on. You best believe I've had about 20 jokes ready about Uranus, but you know what? This is a serious topic, so now we gotta get serious. We're still trying to figure out why Uranus rotates on its side, while every other planet in our solar system has their axis pointing upwards. Uranus's tilt is 98 degrees, so there's long periods of time, like 40 years long I'm talking, where the north or south pole will just face the sun directly. That's a perfect place to get a very specific tan. Other planets in our solar system have a program grade rotation, or they go counterclockwise depending on which way we're looking at it. But Venus has a retrograde rotation. But why? How did this start? So far, a leading theory is that something massive hit this planet. Early on in their planet life, scientists believe Uranus was hit by a meteor and then completely threw it off course. Or it collided with the moon or Earth or something. Maybe we're responsible. I feel like we're responsible. <laughs> Sorry about Uranus. And finally, number one, gamma bursts. Our sun is hot, she is bumping, she keeps us alive, and somehow I'm still pale. But what if she decides to act up, then what? The northern lights are a fun result from cosmic activity, but can we handle any more than that? When we look at extinction level events, like say, I don't know, a meteor hitting our planet, we can bounce back from that, like humans. Dinosaurs, eh, not so lucky. Maybe not them, but humans, with bigger arms, we have a fighting chance. When it comes to gamma rays hitting the planet, no chance we're bouncing back from that. That's the end of everything. Unless you're the Incredible Hulk, you're not gonna have a pleasant time. Gamma rays happen when stars explode in distant galaxies. Light and energy just shoots out, along with radio waves, neutrinos, gamma rays, of course, just cosmic confetti of all shapes and sizes. All blasted at your fresh little face. All that good space stuff. But these gamma rays, they travel light years through space. If they were to hit Earth, our ozone would be toast forever. We would be engulfed in a chemical smog forever. Let's just hope that one star that's really close to our planet keeps calm and carries us on. That sounds great. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. Those were 10 strange mysteries in our solar system that we should fear, and we should fear some more. Let's tune in next time. I'll tell you 10 more. Let's do it. Bye.